Hi, I'm Jesslyn Desmond, and I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. I have a wonderful, wonderful recipe for some warming massage oil that can also be used as a personal lubricant. All right, so the list of ingredients you're going to need for the massage lube oil is you're going to need some organic coconut oil. That's very, very important. Organic coconut oil, so you can eat this as well. You're going to need some raw organic honey. I like to use Manuka honey because it has more nutrition. It's very, very delicious. You are going to need a spatula and a bowl. And the other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to get, I don't know, what do you think this is? You're going to need to get a jar to put it in and I just grabbed a piece of red fabric because it's delightful and I sewed the red fabric on top of the jar so then I have this cute little Valentine's Day container to put my warming massage lube in. All right, on for the good stuff. The oils that you're going to need to use are cassia, cinnamon bark, which tastes really delicious on its own. You can dip toothpicks in here. Lang Lang, which is an aphrodisiac for both men and women, so that's really delightful. And clove bud. So those are the three primaries. If you can get your hands on some cassia, you can add this in for a little bit of extra flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take your coconut oil. You're going to let it get to room temperature or if it's cold in your house or in your home area, you can put it in a pot of hot water that you've already boiled and let it sit there until it, until it melts, like what we have done, which is why this is all melted. So you're going to pour as much oil in there as you think that you'll need. I don't think I'm going to need too much to fill this jar. So we've got the oil in here like this. I don't know if you could see. Um, we're going to take some Lang Lang. We're going to do Lang Lang first. Lang Lang goes in one, two, three, four, five, six drops. We're going to take the cinnamon and we're going to put in four drops. One, two, three, four. And we're going to take the clove and we're going to put in two. One, two. And just for the flavor, the cassia, it's from the cinnamon plant, but it just gives it a little extra punch and we're gonna put in one of those drops. So you can see it's just for flavoring. And you're gonna take your spatula and you're gonna stir it. And I like to turn the bowl because sometimes the oils like to get on the edge of the bowl, so then I like to scrape the edge of the bowl. And because you're mixing oils with oils, it does mix better than when you're mixing when you when you do cooking with essential oils. Cooking with essential oils, sometimes you have to blend the oil with like a water-based thing. So this is really simple, really easy. And the final ingredient is the honey. And you can add as much or as little honey as you want to this because this is completely edible and in case you want to be doing some tasting, if you know what I mean. And then you're going to stir it all up. And the honey and the oil, once they're in the jar together, it's looking like it's, it's not doing it now. It got too cold. But if it turns to do this, then that means that the coconut oil is not warm enough either, and that means that the honey, the honey cooled in the coconut oil. So you can still keep this all together. You might want to use a thinner honey if you don't want to have these problems, but you could still put it in your jar, and when you heat up your jar, all of it will all blend together, and then you can just shake it. So now we're going to put it inside your jar that you have and there goes the honey 
Depending on the thickness of honey, remember it's it will go in there differently. Some honeys blend better than others. I generally like to use a high nutrition content honey, so it tends to be thicker. Yeah, the coconut oil is definitely getting cold, I could tell, because it's starting to solidify. And which is no problem. All you have to do is put it in a pan of hot water and it will go back to its liquid state. You put your lid on it and the way that I did, I just sewed this fabric around here so you can actually take it off and as you can see my container is actually a baby jar and you'll put this in the, in the pot of hot water. You're not going to boil this you're just going to stick this in there and once it's boiled you shake it put your thing on your little cover and then you're ready to go and you have a wonderful gift or you have a wonderful evening <laughs>